And in the mountains of Vermont, a small stream ambles through the bedrock, undisturbed by mankind. Oh dear, those damn good kids are at it again. Come all you young rounders, <laughs> story I'll tell. Promise of heaven. In the warning of hell. But take heed where you ramble. Or too soon you will go. Way up on the hill. Where's John's truck? Just where do flowers go? Well, he met in the springtime. Sun Not one, some two. Two star crossed no, love. Well, the strawberry fields were red and full, and the Milltown apartment was a sauna. Was easy, and the courting was brief. There they called her a beauty. And so we ran to the hills whenever we could to chase those golden summer daydreams. And the sun painted picture And the day turned to night Come up on the hillside We'll have a time If you'll bring the kisses, honey I'll bring the wine Keep your heart guarded too soon it'll fall When one walks back home, honey Only one knows it all And we started seeing a lot of wild creatures around and collected some forest treasures. And one day John asked if I'd stop by to help him and the family hay. And so I went looking for him at the farm, but I couldn't find him and I checked out some barn wood that may be useful at the cabin. His truck was there, and the hay was waiting, but he was nowhere to be found. And so I rolled to the cabin to meet Allie and work in the garden, and then we went off chasing the sunset. Well, the air was so still, and the sky was so blue. Or she could see them. The laughter she knew. Really big spider that lives in that web too. She heard two shots ring out down in the town. There was three on the hillside, but only one headed down. And not long after, my good friend Hunter came up from Connecticut for the day, and we started off with homemade sourdough bagels. And if you're interested in a video guide on how to make these, I just posted one on my Patreon, along with all my other bonus content. And the link is in the video description. And since we both had been grinding lately, we took this free-flowing day as an opportunity to let loose and hit as many swimming holes as possible. And we were cruising in my old Volkswagen bus, whose brain seemed to be getting vapor-locked in the hot weather and would only fire up with a manual human touch.
and the wildlife sightings continued as the hunt for water slowly began amongst the forest critters. kept moving from swimming hole to swimming hole before I tried a spontaneous check-in at the farm to see if the haying was back on. I've been trying to be my own guiding star, but it appears it hasn't taken me very far. I've tried my own all in all. Everything but it's just been a hard and arduous thing. When no! I <laughs> and sure enough, we spotted John's father picking up bales in his pickup truck. And before long, we were all in on the whole operation, which I hadn't done since I was young, and Hunter had never done in his life. thing that could match the hot sun, the fresh smell, and the itch and scratch of a hilltown heyday. And we hayed till just before the sunset, and John's mom gave Hunter and I some maple syrup in return for our help and then we headed to Jack's for a sourdough pizza party by the pond. I'd be surprised. I'm literally I'm sitting, working. no, sitting in an excavator, and it's like bobbing around, you know. Imagine how proud you must be. It's so heavy. I'd be like, I'm pretending to be a swan. Oh, he's dead. That's in USA today. I was pretending to be a swan. I'm fighting. No, no, no. Just by running for president, you can make money off of shit. That you didn't pass. That's all right. right. Everyone yeah. knows that running for president is the most lucrative. Yeah, it might seem to be. You don't lose money at all. So what I want to do it, I want to start money. with like sitting in an empty bank vault with like a stack of twenty dollar bills and be like, by the end of my presidency, this is awesome. This is your ad. This will get it. Just jump Thompson over the boat. Put the you go like, first. I'll be like Russia and just hit board. him with another one. Whatever you want to do. Get yeah. <laughs> <laughs> him on the ready, bro. Hook him up. Well, him up ready. give me some liquid. Come <laughs> 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 on. It's like, <laughs> So sad. Do what it needs. Oh, he. Oh, he. <laughs> he was that muddy pun. I was like, oh, I'd get punched by you to some kid that looked like him. He was just like, <laughs> like, holy. He punched you for real. Oh, yeah, instantly. I was like, instantly. Wow. What's up? There's a mouse in here. That's oh. great. Oh, my God. Where's the twin? I'm out in the yard. The other bunny would just like hop about and nibble. This one would go beeline right towards you, bite at your ankle. The right eye one. Yeah, but not Jessica. Loved her. I guess I'm not just surprised. Lay back. And I guess I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Given the very little I know about bunny. Ah, uh, sure. A little rougher. Yeah. Like, <laughs> maybe Maria. Noah had come home from Georgia for a while, and a few other damn good kids came out of the woodwork towards the smell of that hickory smoke.
day, Hunter decided to stay. So him, Allie, and I went out on some hilltown adventures. The day had started with rain, but there was hope for gold on the horizon. God, this is like Jurassic Park. Wait, it looks like something just went through here. <gasps> oh my God, something did it. There's just multiple beavers up there. There's two right there. This is crazy. I know, it's super deep, right? <laughs> and we went to a nice dinner in South County and shared oysters and aperitifs and it was a beautiful summer weekend to remember. And by this point, the cottonwoods had taken over the summer wind. And when we went to Allie's grandparents for a picnic, Allie and I played frisbee in the yard and wandered down to the stream to explore a long-lost childhood kingdom. Cribbly and jibbly, you sure a big <laughs> <laughs> wow, this dragonfly right here is like chrome green. Oh, yeah? Do you see it? Yeah, I do. You did? Yeah. Where it's shady. A lot of them. I bet you there's actually a trout in that cove with the rocks. And by this point in the summer, the blackberries and raspberries were growing strong, but weren't quite ripe. If I wrote you a song, if I got every word perfectly If I wrote you a poem, if I posted a letter. And then we got back to work on the inside of the cabin, with the immediate goals being to seal up the walls and get the staircase built. The moon had recently been just a sliver. Its belly was starting to grow. As the Volkswagen was getting more work done, and the blueberries at my parents' house were gearing up for their August debut.
Molly dried herbs from the garden as we logged cabin days as often as possible to stay in the flow. Putting up the plywood to give us an easy surface to nail the barn wood to as the finishing touch. Try a drop cut. <laughs> that was the best one. Yeah, baby. <laughs> a lot of patchwork with leftover material, the walls were sealed. And a couple days later, we drove Old Blue to South County on a golden evening, past the airstrip full of purple time, and celebrated a year and a half of companionship. And that moon continued to grow. And in the meantime, it was back to the cabin. We were putting the hickory floorboards in next and making a diagram of the radiant heating tubes so we wouldn't puncture them when we eventually fastened the staircase in. And we began the process on a rainy evening, giving us a taste of what a cozy summer storm would be like in that little cabin by the river. until sunset before heading to the high fields in hopes of catching the buck moon's big reveal. <laughs> and though it was cloudy, there was a small clear gap on the low horizon and we drove up and down the back roads hoping to spot the rise before the rain came back. Oh, 
back to the cabin to finish the floor, which immediately made this little box start to feel like a home. After spending years with this place being a total mess, the light at the end of the tunnel was starting to show. And day after day we made it back and continued pushing. We want to be able to walk into the door without hitting the staircase. And on this particular day, we were figuring out the staircase, where we would use an old beam from the house Jack and John deconstructed on Jack's property. Let's oh, test it. <laughs> and my mom and Hudson would stop by almost every day to check in on the progress. Actually, but it has to be. Can you? You got it. <laughs> wow. It's perfect. Wait, let's try a little bit. Not quite perfect up there. <laughs> is that? No. It's, yeah, it is. No, it's not. Oh. That's good enough. <laughs> wow. And then the other beam is going to be fascia. Like, this will be one beam, beam going across with the beam coming down out of it. You know, we'll put cut it in half and it'll be fascia. Oh, it'll just be nailed to, just for looks. Yeah, but it'll look so cool. Man. It's interesting. It's perfect. It's exactly what I pictured. And then, you know, it will be steeper, but... With the railing, it'll be fine. And it's just gonna look so cool. <coughs> All right, and so the other thing to consider, which, yeah, it's fine. Like, you'll have to duck a little bit in the kitchen. We'll take these nails out that are, and then the bar will come up, like, right to it, basically. Yeah, we can totally make this beneficial for That's what I was, that's why I wanted yeah. to do it in wood rather than the metal one, because mm -hmm. it's like, we can literally have shelves the whole way down. This is a huge storage space. Now the question is how far do we go in on each one before we start to really compromise the integrity? And then I gotta see what, how am I gonna actually cut into this? Is that a setting? No, when something's broken.
could do a wood brace that would like, hold it together and be... I mean, it's pretty strong. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could break it if I tried, actually. Well, that's good. Yeah, don't do it to the bad piece. Right, I was on the bad piece? Yeah. Jeez. And we could put a brace, you know, halfway up just to give it and cut at the same angle. You know, it would be so easy to cut that angle flat and it would come up. Like, if it was completely nailed in perfectly and tight, mm -hmm. I don't think it would really creak. I thought it was just way there. Now I could get right off it. Hey, Mom. Imagine he's going to run so fast and fly across the cabinet. <laughs> this cabinet, it's just a box. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, then we'll build this box this way, then a tiny one, then the stove. Mm -hmm. There'll be a gap, and then one last tiny one. And then we're gonna have a roughed in kitchen, and it's just like. And one of my favorite daily sights this summer were these morning glories that grew out of the drainage ditch. Probably seeds that got washed away in the spring rain and somehow held on against all odds. And after long days on the computer, I'd take any opportunity I could to spend time by the river, even in the rain. Dedicating time to listen to the birds and the running water is one of the main ways I maintain equilibrium. And with the van feeling decently healthy, it was time to take it on the kind of summer trip we always dreamed of. Yeah, these are sweet boards though. Yeah, these are. <laughs> and so we picked up Noah and Kaylee and headed north. Like you're talking about the leaving all my worries, I prepare for something new. Whatever it was that held me back, I'm sure it wasn't true. Holding on to the long and on these old questions holds you down. What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown. I'm moving on.
and Noah brought some fresh meat from his butcher, and we headed to one of my favorite campsites to make dinner over an open flame. And we got the fire going as the world turned blue. Feasted on tacos as the night set in and the darkness brought the diamonds out. And as a mayfly flew from the roof of the bus, I followed it up into the universe and snapped a photo with my telephone and felt happy and alive in the New England summer night.